Hi, Thomas from Field Tennis. The forehand follow through, to catch or not to catch, that is the question. I teach that you should catch the racket and here's why. So let me start first with the most common mistake when players hit a forehand but they're not catching it with their offhand. So the most common mistake that I see is that their left shoulder doesn't go away. So as their right shoulder is coming forward and about, they're about to hit the ball, they're just kind of wrapping themselves up and this shoulder is not going away which means that this shoulder is blocking the hitting shoulder. So they're kind of like this and they're not using their body rotation well to hit the ball. So they're using their arm too much and not enough rotation. So if they are not catching the racket but rotating well and moving their shoulder away well then that's no problem. So but mo most often when people start to play tennis or they're in the intermediate stage they will use their arm too much and not enough of the body. So when I teach them to catch the racket with their left I achieve that the left shoulder starts to move away and it gives space to the right shoulder to go forward and then the player starts to feel that they can rotate their body or their shoulder axis much easier and therefore they will start to feel that this is another source of power besides their arm. So not only that they will start to relieve their arm from hard work and therefore they will get more feel and hence more consistency. There's another reason why I like to teach catching the racket and that's because of a more consistent swing and therefore a more consistent shot. If for example the player is not catching the racket and they just end up like this then they can end up in many different positions, many different finishes. Now that means that as they were swinging through the ball they were going in many different ways through the ball in order to end up in many different finishes. And so what we achieve by asking them to catch their racket, we achieve a certain consistency of the swing. So if they have roughly the same finish, then they will have a roughly the same swing path through the ball and therefore they will have a very consistent stroke. So again just want to mention that this is not what I want from players on every ball. This is something when we are teaching the fundamentals of the stroke where we want to create the basic mechanics of the stroke and biomechanics and so when we're feeding them nice balls, typical rally balls when they're developing a forehand stroke then they can have a very similar finish. Now in real game when they play they might have to attack a ball close to the net, they're hitting down so their finish might be here. You might be hitting a running forehand and just hit like this because you're unable to rotate through the shot or you might be hitting a top spin lob and so you have many different finishes depending on different situations. But when it comes to the fundamentals of the stroke and you're just hitting a rally shot then your finish will be very similar, like very consistent. And therefore you will have a very consistent swing path and therefore a very consistent shot. So where should you catch the racket? I teach catching the racket somewhere here around your shoulder and making sure that your shoulders have rotated. So here's one demonstration. So something like that. Here's one more. So that should be like your basic forehand follow through. And again just to mention the reasons. The reason is that you are using your shoulders more rather than just your arm and that you have a consistent finish which will help you create a consistent shot on a basic ball. Now there are of course variations. One of the variations is if the player has a little bit more western grip then they will tend to have a lower swing path like this. So I'll try and demonstrate one. So a western grip player might finish here. So there's no need to force them up because that's not very natural for them to swing. And another finish I want to mention is the old school finish. So here's one demo that goes like this where you want the players to have a straight arm 
and catch the racket in front of them. So I don't recommend that you use this finish because it's very stiff. So I don't recommend anything stiff. But we use sometimes these finishes in order to correct strokes. So for example, if a player likes to swing too much across the body and not going enough into the ball, then I might use this finish for a while to help them correct the stroke so that they feel how they can hit more through the ball. But later, I let them off the hook so they can hit however they want. And typically, they will just find that middle ground between this slightly exaggerated finish, which is just a correction, and their finish that was too much across the body, and they will just find the right finish.